Today on Animal Fact Files, we're going to be looking at the great blue heron. If you like learning facts about animals, then subscribe to this channel so you can stay up to date on all the new content. The great blue heron is sometimes mistakenly called a crane, but there are distinct differences between the two. Herons tend to have longer necks and beaks and will hold their neck in an S shape while flying. Cranes hold theirs out straight while they fly. It also seems to be incorrect to refer to a great blue heron as an egret. There's a lot of ambiguity as to what the distinction is between an egret and a heron, but a bird is usually called an egret if they're typically all white and have specific chest plumage. A great blue heron is lacking in these qualities, thus a great blue heron is not an egret. Science! The great blue heron is the largest heron in North America. Because they're birds, they only weigh a maximum of just over 7 pounds. They can grow to be over 4 feet tall and have wingspans that average 6 feet in width. That tall, slender figure gives them an advantage over the other birds on a lake or a pond by granting them access to deeper water. They eat fish, frogs, snakes, salamanders, insects, rodents, and even other birds. Although typically observed flying gracefully overhead or wading casually through waterways, great blue herons can strike prey with a lightning-fast snap of their necks stabbing with their long, sharp beaks. Kinda scary. Males tend to hunt in water, while females and young favor hunting on land. Though solitary hunters, great blue herons breed in colonies called heronries, ranging anywhere from five to many hundreds of mating pairs. They usually breed in the spring, some migrate to the perfect location, while others live in the same area year-round. A great blue heron male will choose the nest site, but the female will build the nest. Take that, gender stereotypes. Typically, she'll build it in a tree between 20 and 60 feet off the ground. Their young are born two to seven eggs per nest, and the eggs take about 30 days to develop. Both the parents incubate the eggs. The young herons fledge, or leave the nest, when they are around 60 days old. They usually live to be about 15 years old in the wild, though one individual was recorded to be over 24 years of age. Great blue herons are extremely adaptable and live anywhere from desert creeks to tropical bays. They're found mostly in North and Central America, but they can be spotted in the Caribbean, the Galapagos Islands, and have even been documented in Spain, England, and the Netherlands. They usually live near slow moving or still water, typically staying within a 30 mile radius of this prime hunting location. The great blue heron displays a shaggy gray blue plumage, or feathers, around the base of its neck with a distinct dark stripe above its eyes that joins up with longer feathers behind its head. Their legs and beaks are usually a soft orange or gray color and their wings have light undersides. One subspecies of great blue heron found on Florida and Caribbean coastlands sports white plumage, making it easily mistaken for an egret. People sometimes refer to this morph as the great white heron, but ultimately they're still blue. Technically. The great blue heron is a symbol of wisdom to many cultures, and to the Iroquois, they are considered extremely lucky. Maybe next time you come across one, you'll catch a bit of luck. For more information on the great blue heron, feel free to browse through my citations in the description below. Let me know which animal you'd like to see next in the comments. As always, thanks for watching, and give a thumbs up for more animal fact files.